What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to be talking about Typhoon Cardano Wallet. I'm going to show you how to download or how to add an extension, how to set up, and then I'm going to go over entire wallet and show you how to use it. So on their homepage, we can scroll down. This is some of the pictures from the extension. And then here's everything you need to know in a Cardano wallet. And here are some of the features and functions they're offering. Staking, NFT, hardware, so you can connect your hardware wallet to it, multi-account, multi-delegation, rich staking center, metadata, voting if you're into Catalyst project, then this one is good for you, and HD single address. So if we scroll all the way up, on the top right corner, you can see download an extension if you press on it. At this time, it's only available to Chrome, Brave and Edge. So basically to Chromium based browser, I'm gonna download for Edge and then press add to Chrome, but it's Edge, but it's the same thing and then add extension. Once extension is added, new window will appear and this is what you're gonna see. So here's a couple options. You can press on create wallet. You can import wallet if you already have existing wallet and then you can set up hardware wallet. So for this video tutorial, I'm just gonna create. We need to come up with the wallet name and password. I'm just gonna type ADA and then password. Check mark next to agree and then continue. And now we need to select our seed phrase. You can set 24, 15 or 12. For this video tutorial, I'm just gonna use 12. And then make sure save your phrase and then press on I wrote down and make sure don't ever share this phrase with anybody. I'm not gonna blur this phrase out because after this video, I'm gonna delete this wallet. I'm not gonna even use it. And now we have to verify. And then verify and unlock. Then we need to choose type for this video tutorial. I'm just gonna press on single address wallet. And that's it. Wallet is set up and ready to be used. So here's a couple options. Let's look at the actual extension in the top right corner. And if you don't see it, you'll have to press on this little puzzle and then uncheck this. So it's gonna be shown in the toolbar. So once you're gonna press on it, this is the window is gonna appear. In here, you can do only certain things. So you can send money. If you have any ADA, you can press on send. You can press address and set the amount. We can go back or receive, and that's how you can view your address. You can copy here and then you can view on Cardano. Then if you press on this little logo in the top right corner, it's gonna give you an option by default, it created five addresses, but you can add more. Then in here you can change from mainnet to testnet, and then you can set up dark mode. And if you press on this button, this is full screen, this is basically gonna bring this web page. And the last in the top right corner, three little buttons, collateral and settings. So if you're gonna be using some kind of decentralized exchange or maybe a store, or maybe minting NFTs or something, I would recommend set up collateral because in case if you'll have to cancel the transaction on the centralized exchange, you have to have collateral in place to interact with a smart contract. So if you press on collateral, minimum is five Cardanos, and then you can just press on add. And then if we go back, settings, you can log out, remove wallet, change language, and then right here, connected sites. So for example, if you connect to Sunday Swap or JPG store or any other sites, once you sign up with your wallet, then you're gonna be able to go back here, connected sites, and it's gonna show you every site that is connected here. And I'm sure there's gonna be either Red X or little trash can, and that's how you can disconnect from sites. After you're using some kind of site, I would always recommend going back and disconnect your wallet from those particular sites. And then if we go back, that's it. So this is mainly what you're going to be getting in a little pop up box from extension. But if you press on this button, then this window is going to appear. And right here, there are more options available. So on a home page, you can send ADA and tokens. So if you have any other tokens on Cardano network, just set address here and then amount and then set tokens. And then you can add tokens. I'm assuming that's going to be for NFTs. Then your balance here, rewards here, if you are actually staking. And if you would have any kind of balance, you can press on stake and it's going to start staking. Then right here is going to show you your epoch slot and then ADA price, market cap of entire Cardano. Then if we go down here, staking, you have to have minimum five Cardano to start staking, then assets. So if you're going to be using this wallet for NFTs, this is where you're going to be able to find them. And then voting. If you are part of Catalyst, you can use this wallet and you can set up your voting app through here and then contacts. Let's say, for example, if you have multiple wallets, one wallet where you store all your NFTs and your Cardano or any other tokens, 
what you can do you can add that wallet here and have it as a contact so for example if you use this as a burner wallet and you use it on marketplaces or maybe on any other exchanges you use it here and then you transfer everything to your main cold wallet i would just recommend adding contacts so that way you won't have to copy and paste your wallet every single transaction you're making then in here you can set it to dark mode if you would like to settings again basically same thing you can convert your hd account to a single account collateral and then change language support and then log out and this is pretty much it very intuitive interface easy to use and from what i notice many exchanges and marketplaces supporting this wallet and if this video is helpful to you press that like button and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching